Now the first step is to restart Steam. Simply close Steam, exit and then relaunch Steam and then you can check. Still not working, restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working, the, run Ubisoft Connect in the background. So you can just open Ubisoft Connect in the background and then once Ubisoft Connect is running over here, now you can launch the game and then check. If you don't have Ubisoft Connect, you can install it from the Ubisoft website. You can search in Google, go to the Ubisoft website and you can download Ubisoft Connect from the website. Download it and then install it. Here you can see download Ubisoft Connect. Next step is to, if already running, so if Ubisoft Connect is already running, still you're facing the problem, you can ex quit, quit uh, Ubisoft Connect and then relaunch the game. It will relaunch Ubisoft Connect and then you should be able to launch the game. Also make sure you have latest version of Ubisoft Connect. So you can update Ubisoft Connect if you see update option somewhere. You can go to settings and if there is any update over here, you can update, find update if, if, or you can simply uninstall, uninstall Ubisoft Connect and then you can make a right click, uninstall, uninstall after the uninstall, you can go to Ubisoft Connect, install the latest uh, version of Ubisoft Connect from the Ubisoft Connect website run this exe file install it and then you can relaunch the game next step is to run steam and ubisoft connect as an administrator first so first of all you can close exit um, this steam and then exit you can close ubisoft connect you can simply exit from here uh, if it is open close it and then type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and make sure that you run steam as an administrator only Click on yes to allow and then type in Ubisoft Connect. Make a right click on Ubisoft click Connect. Run as administrator. Click on yes. And once you run as administrator, now run the game from the game. Uh, now run the game as an administrator. To run the game as an administrator, you can go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. So go to library and then make a right click on the game. Manage browse local files. Go to the game installation folder, open the bin folder, bin64, and then you can make a right click and then go to properties. Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. If you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, do the same thing. Go to the game installation folder and then run as administrator. Also run the game from the game install installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam or Ubisoft Connect, you can go to the game installation folder and then you can make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. You can even try to run as administrator and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says this and then try Windows 8. Select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, if you're using any third-party antivirus, now if you're using Windows Security, then open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security, Windows Security, and then click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it, click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access, click on Yes to Allow, click on Add an Allowed App, Browse All Apps, Go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then select the game exe file. This is the location in my case. So you have to open the game folder, bin folder, win64, select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, I have already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game. Similarly, now go to uh, virus and threat protection over here and then uh, you will see protection history over here. And over here, find the game exe file. Uh, so click on protected folder access and find anno117.exe. And over here, you will see allow option. Uh, like. I'll show you. Um, in my case, I've already allowed everything. 
So when you click over here, you will see action over here. So click on action and then you will see allow option, allow it and then relaunch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to rename the config file. When you rename the config file, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open file explorer, go to documents over here and then open the game folder over here open the config folder you can just make a right click on config folder uh, rename it once you rename it now you can relaunch the game the saved settings will be lost now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Still not working, try this in launch option. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties. And in the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can even try dash DX12 over here. La launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this. Follow the next step. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see x86 and x64 file. You have to download this x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. Click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. In my case, I have already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So in my case, it is already done. So once both are installed, you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system. Click on fine. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest graphic card, GeForce Game Ready driver, you can click on view and then you can click on download. And then you can run the exe file. Once the download is complete, run this exe file and then click on yes to allow, click on OK, click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. This is important and then click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart the computer and then check. Still not working. Now AMD users do the same thing. You can go to AMD website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card. Uh, this is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic card. So select your graphic card, select your operating system, and then whichever is the latest graphic card driver, click on download, install it, and then restart the computer and then check. Still not working. Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings add desktop app go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder bin win64 select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on it and then select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now relaunch the game next uh, now desktop users make sure that your monitor is plugged in to the uh, correct dedicated graphic cards slot so make sure that your hdmi cable or the display cable is connected to the dedicated dedicated graphic card slot this is for desktop users still not working roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can click on view more version maybe you can try the older geforce game read driver down view download it but when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. After that, restart your computer and then you can check. Similarly, if you have AMD uh, card, you can scroll down after you select your graphic card, your operating system, click on previous version, select your operating system. Maybe you can try the older version and then download it, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disable integrated graphic card. So make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. Now, if your computer has a dual graphic card, uh, here you can see I have a dual graphic card, expand display adapter in device manager. You can make a right click on integrated graphic card. In my case, it's Intel, make a right click and then you can disable device and then you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, then you can come back and you can enable the device once again and use this Intel driver and support assistant uh, to update your Intel driver. So Intel, uh, you can go to official Intel driver and support assistant website, click on download now, and then you can run this exe file. 
and launch Intel driver and support assistant. Now, once installed, you can launch this Intel driver and support assistant. Once you launch it, it will scan your computer. If there is any update, uh, it will let you know over here. You will see download all. In my case, it's still installed. Now over here, you will see if there is any update, you will see download all. So click on download all. And then you will see once the download is complete, you will see install all. Once everything is installed, restart your computer and then you can launch the game still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can go to windows update in, and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to install supporting soft software now for this you can go to uh, steam maker i click on the game select manage click on browse local file open the software uh, support folder and make a double click uh, try to install it if you receive any kind of error over here just ignore it and you can install this VC Redis. You can make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, install. If you receive this error, just ignore it. And if this is not installing, you can ignore it. Uh, follow the next step. Try debug mode. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click, show more option, go to NVIDIA control panel. And once it is open, uh, click on help and then put a check on debug mode over here. Make sure debug mode is checked. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, restore. NVIDIA control panel settings to restore NVIDIA control panel settings. You can go to manage 3D settings, global settings, restore. Yes. At the bottom right, uh, you will see the apply option. Hit apply and then you can check. Now it's still not working. Uh, the next step is to set uh, try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. And then go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now over here, I have only balanced, but if you see power saver like this, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try balanced relaunch the game. You can even try high performance relaunch the game. But first of all, try power saver and then check. Next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows set box, click on graphic settings, advanced graphic settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. If this is already on, then you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Like disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay now for this. And if you have any external keyboard and mouse like which you're not using, you, like if you have Razer Huntsman keyboard or maybe Key Chrome keyboard, you can disconnect it. Keyboard and mouse disconnect it if you're not using it. And disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then uh, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Still not working. Close other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings over here and then uh, you can turn off this NVIDIA overlay and then you can relaunch the game and then check. And you have to close this NVIDIA app. Uh, make sure it is closed and then check. Next step is to uh, do not overclock. Set it to default. Close all overclocking application. Like if you have MSI, Afterburner, Revert, you know, any kind of overclocking application running, you can close it. If you have any third party services and application running, you can close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 
multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of laptop like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. Select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer. Find the BIOS in driver's page. Install it. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Next step is two. You can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch the game, uh, you can try window mode, lower down video settings. Now for this, you can launch the game first. Now once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options over here. And then you can uh, first of all lower down resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now for this, you have to select full screen first, accept, and then you can lower down the resolution. You can try 1920 into 1080p, or you can even lower down more. So I will just select this one, and then click on accept. And now you can switch to window mode. Click on accept. And you can try both in uh, VSync on and off. So in my case, it is on. So I'll turn it off and then check. And you can also lock the FPS at mid, maybe 30 or 60. So I will just, uh, you know, set it to 60. You can even try 30. And then HDR, in my case, it is already off. And then apply the changes. Now go to graphics over here. Now, if everything is set to like uh, ultra, ultra high, uh, you can set it to very high or maybe you can try high or you can even go for medium and for my uh, i have uh, turned off this upscaling is off in my case applying changes and then you can um, once this is done now you can check if that does not work you can even reset graphics settings if that if nothing is working you can just reset graphics settings and then relaunch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to let me close the game for now now still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game install the game to c drive reinstall the game to c drive so if the game was installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel